I'm imagining your wife like stepping into the shower. That start sounded wrong. Um, <laughs> started off real. I started off real bad on that one. That's a bad start. Can you imagine just in casual conversation? <laughs> Sorry, Kim. Uh, I was imagining someone looking at your toiletries and going, why do you have a leather cozy for your conditioner? Yeah. And for all the shampoo, for the soap. This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash rogue, you see. Give a free trial and you'll be in love. It doesn't rhyme. Uh, 10% off. <laughs> okay, so we're back again with longtime friend of both of ours. I introduced you to CJ almost immediately, right? Yeah, yeah, like was, you were in college. Right after yeah. college. Yeah. yeah. yeah 20 so. plus years. Mm -hmm. At any rate, we learned all of the fundamentals, the first questions you would ask, but then we got to the saddle stitch. And I was like, that sounds complicated. Yeah, you're like, oh, we sew like that. I'm like, no, Brian, you use two needles to sew leather. Why would you need two needles to sew leather? So the saddle stitch started with saddles. So you could make in the field repairs to your saddles while you were out. But the idea of a saddle stitch is that you're sewing with two needles and they're going, they're going kind of the way a sewing machine does. It, you have one that goes through is it gonna be easier just to show you? I'll use this one because this is the one I'm gonna sew. He's looking suspiciously like Wait, a guillotine. Is a, this is a big yeah. Why did what I start? You don't have to have one of these. No, you don't. This is this is called the stitching pony. So if you're gonna do a lot of sewing, you might want one of these. But I'm putting it out here because I want you to be able to see it. This clamps your work together. Okay. So you don't have to glue it. Right. Well, you can put it in there glued too. So you're gonna use about four times more thread than the length. So I'm just loosely going, that's the length, that's the length times two, that's the length times four. And for a smaller project, I always do a little bit extra. And we said earlier that I saw somebody make a snarky comment when somebody was uh, talking about, you know, how do I not waste so much thread? And the snarky comment was, if, if you're worrying about how much thread you use, this is the wrong hobby for you. Yeah, sure. And the tone of the post was, it was like, man, you're not being helpful. But it's actually pretty good, <laughs> pretty yeah. decent advice. Is, uh, is, is this thread super expensive or something? So it's eight bucks at Amazon. This is a little bit better thread. This is a 0.35 inch uh, waxed cord. And this is a main, th main thread company. So they're like a more premium brand. And you do notice the difference if you're using a lot of thread. You you do notice the difference between the inexpensive Amazon thread and this. The waxed cord, is it waxed for longevity or is it waxed, waxed. for ease of use? It, you know, I, I'll be, I'm not afraid to say I don't know. Okay. I, I do know that while you're using it, the having the wax on there helps hold it in place. It's a lot easier to work with. Yeah, because if you use an unwaxed thread, when you pull it here and you go to make your next stitch, stitch Thank you, sometimes words. <laughs> so we're gonna thread both needles. And that's of course using the awesome, super cool method that, uh, who was the guy that you learned it from? Chuck Dorsett from Weaver, Weaver Leather Supply, who is Just in case a, everyone nat missed it. a national treasure. I adore Chuck and I've gotten to meet him a couple times and he's just as nice in person. And the trick was, instead of trying to actually thread it through like it's a stick, to pinch it all the way down so it's like a tiny ant and then you push the ant through the eye hole, right? Exactly. Oh, I, I, I suddenly failed. Yep, yep, it was the yep. first time it didn't work. I was <laughs> so proud of myself. There we go, it was hubris, there we go. Yeah, and you're gonna spend a lot of time threading needles. Being able to be proficient at that, that one little tip, I, it's saved me a lot of time. Yeah. All right, so before I clamp it in there, since normally I would glue all of this, I put a needle through on ah, both Ah, there ends. we go, so that way we keep everything lined to up. Align all of the holes and then clamp it in place. Yeah. Now, now my holes are lined up. So you'd put both needles through. Like right next to each other and yep. holes, okay. So this is just, is one thread with needles on both ends right. and a tail that's a little bit shorter than pulling it halfway because that just makes it easier to manage and easier to work with. Right. But basically both are going in, if, if there's two tunnels, they're going in side by side. They're going in side by side at first, just to start off. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to stand up and to get a consistent stitch, 
stitch it the exact same way each time. So, so now you're, you're I'm going, crisscrossing I'm them back. The needle that went through the second hole, I'm pulling back through the top. And so now on the top, we're gonna have. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. So two tunnels, you got lefty and righty. Mm -hmm. They both go through and then Lefty comes back around and goes back. And then righty comes back around and goes back? Or no, 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 right. I, I think so, we're just so now right starting. Now, yeah, now this is just our start. Okay. Where we've, we've gone through both needles and basically you're just trying to get that first one started. And at the top of a wallet or something else, if this is the stress point, I'm doing a double stitch here. Otherwise, oh. otherwise I would just put it through and then go down to the second. So essentially what we have right now is we have one thread on the outside, one on the inside, and just a single loop in the middle. Correct. Okay. So now you're gonna put that needle through and you can put both needles through at the same time. Oh man, that seems like you're gonna jab a lot of- ah, <laughs> That's why the tips of the leather needles Not super are sharp. blunt. Ah. So that you don't do that. So are they so they're both going through the same hole at the same time? Same hole at the same time. Okay. And when I do it, I always make sure that the needle coming through the right side is underneath the needle coming through the left side. And it doesn't matter which oh, one is which. Pick as one, long as you just always do it the one, same do way. do it the same way and your stitching will look better. So now I'm just gonna pull it through and pull tight. And then same thing. And the, the purpose of doing it this way is, uh, are you, are you going to? It's super strong. And if one thread breaks, then it's going to, it's not like, you know how when you, when you have a running stitch? Yeah. If you, if you just snap it, one bit, the whole thing zips The whole thing out. can unzip. You can lose, you know, two of these stitches and everything's still going to hold. And if you're making saddles, then you do this fancy thing where you wrap it around the needle and it makes a little knot on the inside. Oh, so that and an individual piece will go and that whole thread will still and be it, fine. And it's gonna give you extra strength. So I'll, I'll do a knot like that just for the purists, leather makers who are watching. Uh, oh, hey, I mean, everybody loves our channel until we talk about their thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden we're dipshits that enrage them. <laughs> so there I did it where I put this needle in, wrapping the thread one time around, putting the second needle underneath the first needle, pulling them through. And as I do, I'll do it in slow motion. You can see that that's making a, a knot. knot around it, which I pull firmly into the middle and then it hides in there. Man, this really would be a nightmare without some kind of clamp. I mean, right. to just do it in your hands. Okay, so here. Oh no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that bad. In fact, most of the time I don't use a clamp. It's just, it's easier to have consistency with the clamp and because you're doing a lot of setting the needles down. But without a clamp is just, it's just fine. Don't let, don't let the idea of, oh, I don't have a stitching pony say, and, and not it's gonna, not going to tangle up as you go through, as long as the you, as long as the end of the threads make it through. Yeah, there seems to be kind of a zen to it after. There a while. is, and I will sit and listen to audiobooks or podcasts. So like I, I didn't do a great job with the knots there. They're not pulled all the way to the center. They should be ideally in the middle of that. But you can see the top. But they, of those they do knots. seat nicely in there. They do seat nicely, and to be honest. If I'm making a wallet, I don't do the whole looping yeah. uh, thing. Well, because it's gonna be sitting in somebody's pocket protected, you know, not, right. not exposed to the elements. And when I'm making a bag, like when I made that bag over my shoulder, that's all hand stitched. And around the corners, I'll do, I'll do a locking stitch, but I don't on, I don't do it on every one. And the, the idea is, is just, if you start with this one going through first, and you can do it where you pull the thread through and then all do the, the way, other one. and then do the other, so, and I do this a lot. If I'm doing it where I'm not putting both needles through at the same time, then I always pull the thread, I come through the same side first, and then when I put the second thread through, I'm always going through the exact same way. It's the consistency. Right. So it if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go over top, then always go over top. If right. you're gonna go under bottom. So like this one will end up looking a little bit messy because I've I've changed several times how. But I mean we've been talking. This this is a 10 minute sewing project. Yeah, I think we're about to make wallets, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> like y'all. First thing is we need uh, how much string? 
string. Uh, twice, First of all, twice as much as we think we're gonna need? Four, Four times, times as much. yeah. I guess before we even thread, we should probably always, measure. Always put your put it back in the pin cushion because oh, you're gonna because lose Because you're gonna it. lose it, yeah. And especially out here. Okay, so I'm gonna measure a little bit of excess, and that's one, two, three sides. Got it. And then I'm gonna take this amount and I'm gonna double it. And then I'm gonna take this amount and I'm gonna double it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And you know what we could do, Jason? What's up? Since I just measured it, you can cheat. It just cut the same length as what I hey, just did. Hey, good plan. <laughs> Does that work? It should work. So, I always give it a little bit extra beyond the the four times so that when I'm getting down to the very end, I don't have it continuously slipping off the needle. Oh, that's a good point. A little bit extra. There we go. <laughs> Smart. There we go. Hey. Okay, so there's you, there's me. Okay, and then we need how many needles? Uh, Four. Four <laughs> times what we need. I, I wasn't listening. We need two needles. Uh, we do the Dorset technique. Wait, uh, we have to pony oh, up. We, we got to pony up. Okay. We got to. We got to ride the pony. I'm gonna. Uh, should I? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna be happy if I have a single pouch. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> learn this. Here. Learn the stitching. Okay. Pony open. Roll out, ponies. Bring it down. That the top of the pony is as yeah is close with the top. If you want to use a needle to align the holes, no, I think I makes it easier. So then next up, I'm going to thread two needles. You're, are you going to wood shop me? Yeah, no, I'm just going to, so you're going to want it like this so you can go in from oh. either side. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Like that. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Gotcha. Okay. I almost, I almost threaded the needle the dumb way. But now I'm gonna do it. I just the so smart wanted to way. smack your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one needle I'm gonna hold on to, and then now I'll grab a second needle. Is there any benefit to? I noticed some of your needles have bigger eyes. So these are just my old, like spare needles. Got it. These are the needles that I use for everything. I brought these because I'm down to four needles, so I just ordered 20. I don't know where they've all gone to, but. I guess, get used to needing more needles. Yeah. Okay, so the first stitch, they both come in two tunnels, righty and lefty, burr, burr, and they go through. And then after they make it all the way through, because you want it, oop, I just jabbed it. That's probably Safety bad etiquette. Glasses. Pull that down a little bit so you're not having to deal with so much extra pulling your arm out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and po poking you in the eyes. But just make sure they're even. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do it right. Uh, well, now we're going to go south. Yeah, that's pretty much even. Okay, now lefty goes back around. There we go. Remember, right and left go in. Yep. And then lefty comes around and goes back in the right thing. Through the top then, one. And then we end up. Yes. So it goes, yep, 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 okay. So then basically we just have one loop on that first one. And, it's... and then they both go through the same hole over and over again now, right? Yep, and you just want to be consistent. Whatever you decide to do this way on which needle is on top, <laughs> it's the same way every <laughs> do need, time. Uh, <laughs> do you need help? I, I don't know. know what happened. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got a little thing over here. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there. What? 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 Yeah. Go ahead and... yeah. Oh, I see. You went on the outside of the hole. So the good news is there's two ways to undo that. Okay. One is to thread that needle back through, which is usually pretty easy. But sometimes you'll pierce the thread, mm -hmm. and you just now you want that to go through this hole instead of around the outside of it. Oh, and that okay. happens quite a bit. Some people like to put an outside stitch, mm. but the cord is less strong than the leather, so I don't like having oh, thread yeah. on the outside. Okay, gotcha. All right. It, it's sometimes a nice aesthetic. What the hell are you doing? I, I, You're already... I, I think I'm doing... And it's a race. I, I, <laughs> it's, no, it's definitely not a race, because that's, <laughs> that's how we're going to reset the injury counter. <laughs> yeah. 
Cue the Benny Hill music or the <laughs> elephant yeah, walk. Yeah, can you says, a bee dee bee bee bada bada boo doo zip bada dee boo bada dee dee da scoop a doo bee dee bee dee bada 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 dee bada dee bee dee bee dee da a bada dee da dee da skee bee da ba doo ba da ba doo ba da ba dee skoop a doo bee dee ba da ba zap zap zee bee da ba dee bee da ba doo ba da ba da ba bee dee boo. Honestly, it's like once you get into the groove, to, it is I not mean, difficult. There is nothing difficult about this. Yeah, and I'm not in the groove yet, but I can feel the groove approaching. <laughs> and it feels good. It's just this kind of this calming, like... Uh, I think <sighs> they call it flow state. Flow state, yeah. Yeah, when I'm working on a, on a project, I mean, I'll wake up early in the morning thinking about getting out to the shop to work on that project. Now, Brian, you're almost done with that top half. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about your speed? Because you're going pretty quick. Well, I'm trying. I'm, I'm mainly just wondering. Oh, your stitching looks <laughs> excellent. <laughs> no, I'm. I am 100% not being facetious. It looks really good and consistent. Well, you got me obsessed with trying to get everything even. Now. And that's. I mean, now that's really nervous. what it's about <laughs> is just being consistent. And it looks like there is no way anybody would look at this and say that's the first time that Brian's ever saddle stitched. Uh, well, like it looks better than boy, do I so have much a of my work for them. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay, now at this point, do we take it out of the pony? So, no, you can right. undo it and flip the, and rotate the yeah. work. How's it feeling, Jason? Have you approached the groove? Oh, I have uh, raised the groove from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Man, the, the groove lore is just getting better. Yeah. <laughs> Bootsy Collins, he had the groove. I took it from him. How complicated does leather stitching get? Like, saddle stitching seems very secure. Are there, I'm assuming there's a million types of stitches? Yeah, there's, there's like the baseball stitch, so it looks like the edge of a baseball. I don't think I brought anything that has alternate. Oh, sorry. Is there a forbidden stitch? No, I mean, if you do a single stitch on camera, leather workers will be like, oh, I can't believe you're not saddle stitching that or whatever. Like this has just a little bit of a... Ooh, are they, are they a caddy bunch or are they pretty stitch? cool? They're really pretty cool. Uh, it's a very, there's, there's a I few... I certainly hope they are, because <laughs> uh, we're going to so be... So like here's a little cross stitch on this hat. By the way, I made this hat like this was... When you were in my the Allman Brothers? Like my, <laughs> this is like my 10th project, you know? So you can do some cool stuff with some online tutorials oh. that, you know, you <laughs> wouldn't you. look at this Thank and think you. that's the 10th project somebody made. Uh, all right, so I'm coming up on the end. Mm -hmm. What should I be on the lookout ah. for? When you get to the end, you're gonna do a double stitch back down. You're gonna get to the end and then you're gonna come back one more. Oh. Okay, and then so that it matches the other side, you know. How we okay, got it. Yeah, so so I am gonna do this straight through mm -hmm. on both sides, just like usual, and then we're gonna do kind of the. Uh, am I going back? Go back. Okay. One more. There uh, you go. Hold on, I got to do it the same way each time. Oh man. Okay. I was lazy. I didn't finish mine out. I should have. No, you you were busy coaching. Straight. All right. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, okay, okay, so I've got this loosey-goosey thing. How do I undo that? That's... Uh, just pull tight? Well, if I... Uh... All right, so... See, see, I, I, I double-stitched here, and now these are loose. All right, so just uh, loosen your threads. Take your, take your needle and put it in that, in that loop. Yep. And pull. Ah, uh, there we go. And then, and then what? Yep, and then pull the other side. Yeah. And now pull tight on your stitch that you're working on right now. Everything's cool. Oh, I got one bad stitch. Uh, throw it in the trash. Nope, nope, okay, all right, all right, <laughs> now what, now what? So now, take it out of the stitching pony. Okay. Take the needles yeah. and put them, are okay, those, I can take, I can, remo I can remove the needles? Yep. I use the naughty needles, the forbidden needles. And so now all what? Right, so now you're going to trim these off to about was that an eighth of an inch? Yeah, okay. uh, about an eighth of an inch. Just with scissors? Just with scissors. So probably just like. Yep, and it helps you just hold that end. You go. That's fine. Got it? Yep, and the same thing on the other side. And in here, oh, here's a, here's a baseball stitch, wow, a very, just... very sloppy baseball stitch on 
my lighter. Oh, we're just gonna burn it off? And you're just gonna, you're gonna melt it. And so when it melts, I'll, I'll do the first one for you. Okay, this is kind of like when you cut a rope and you wanna yep. melt down those edges. And you're gonna melt it down and let it go straight down and then just kind of push it into, into the hole. You see that? Yeah, that looks great. And then you should do that one too. <laughs> nope. Uh, this one's on you, Brushwood. Okay. Let it didn't you didn't melt oh, all did. the way. Let it melt all the way. Okay, I'm just I'm afraid of it. Ooh. Now, now push it while it's still hot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, some people push with the with the lighter. I just push with my finger. It's you know, says the guy with some, a burn on his finger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is me cutting it and some of it dripping on So me. one of the things about leather working is that I'm assuming you just start making cozies for everything. You just, <laughs> you do. It's like, oh look, I'm gonna make a leather pin cushion. Look <laughs> at <laughs> that. That's but not bad. That's just a little card sleeve. And if you'd have put this on the front of it, it would have had two pockets. Wait. Everything is building off of what you just did. Oh, so I, and I guess the only thing I would have done different is come around and when I got here, I would have pulled this back and continued the saddle, saddle you stitch. You would have, uh, you would have just, yeah, you would have sewn all of it. Actually, I, I just didn't put the holes oh, yeah. all the way up on that. that. I was like, why is it like that? So you would have just sewn three layers instead of two. Oh, you made it to the end too. Yeah. Uh, oh, all right, no. so let's see if you were paying oh. attention on how to finish it off. Oh, no, I was busy. I was not He was, he was battling the groove oh, deep yeah. in the heart of the ocean. I was focused. Do you want to finish it off or do you want to see if Brushwood was paying attention? I want to see if Brushwood was paying attention. <laughs> you son of a biscuit. You knew that was Okay, gonna... yeah. Okay, so do me a favor, just do one side Saddle stitch back. What, like one? Yeah, 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 one more, just going back. This exact same thing you've been doing. You went all the way to the end mm -hmm. and now bounce back one more stitch. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, and, and B, yeah, there you go. You don't want to sever your stitch, right? That's right, you don't want to thread your stitch. Here we go, and then you're gonna pull it tight. Nicely done. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna cut close to okay. the end. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh. Yeah, that's ugly. It's fine. Uh, so now what you're gonna do is, uh, just like when you cut a nylon rope, you're gonna get it to uh, yep. melt down and then tap it. And just tap it with your tap it with your finger or with the lighter if you are worried about getting burned. But oh, nicely you, done. Yeah, tap, not hold. Because oh, if you hold, okay. that's gonna burn yourself. Oh, well. You just want to tap it, <laughs> tap it down into its, into its place. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, e, e, e. It, did, we, well, we got threads. Oh, I think the stitch came out. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. 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 Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, yeah. And you just, you just want to get it melty, and then there, there you go. Oh yeah, that thread, that stitch came out. But that's yeah, all right. That's why right. we doubled it. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Do it there too. Yeah. Same thing. Hey, we made card holders. Where's mine? Hey, it's already in the shop. <laughs> it's it's, up it's for already sale. up for sale. <laughs> yeah, it's right, right there. It, it turns out this is all just a way to get free labor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. CJ's like, now, do 200 more. <laughs> Speaking of which, where can people see more of your work and buy your stuff? Tinyanvilleather.com. Oh, <laughs> I have stickers. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you know, we can, we can do a motion graphic. <laughs> yeah, CJ uh, just does his own chirons all the time by hand. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be great? You sit down, you sit down to have a conversation, and, and you put a roll of paper, and you're like, uh huh. And you just keep it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Click to subscribe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> CJ, thank you so much, man. This has been fantastic. Uh, that's it. <laughs> we said everything. That's it. Get your <laughs> So when you have a story to tell, oftentimes little moves at the beginning end up spiraling out of control and define the way your business, your story, your narrative structure goes from there. All of which is to say I've made the mistake of building a lot of stories on platforms that didn't stick around. <sighs> R.I.P. Vine. 
And that's why you want to build your story on a platform you know you can trust. Squarespace has been around for what, a decade and a half now? We rebuilt all of the modern Rogue on Squarespace because we wanted to get wild with stuff. We wanted to do embedded secret codes and stories within stories that link to other stories with puzzles and ciphers for you to decode. And I don't want to have to redo all of that again. And that's why I'm thrilled all of it is powered by Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy for you to get your message out into the world. Distributed hosting allows you to become an overnight sensation. Award-winning templates make your website easy on the eyes. And the interface is so simple, along with 24-7 support, there's no reason not to start with Squarespace because you're going to stay with Squarespace. Give it a free try, squarespace.com slash rogue, and when you fall in love, you'll get 10% off. You'll make us look good. Just use promo code rogue at checkout. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. I have trust issues with Brushwood's movie oh, recommendations no. still, 25 years later. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I get this call, I'm like, hey, have you seen Natural Born Killers yet? I'm like, no, not yet. And he goes, you need to go see it so we can talk about it. Oh. And I'm, and I'm like, all right. So I go and I see it and I'm like, this is a steaming pile of crap. I hated this movie. And I call him, I'm like, all right, I saw it. What do you want to talk about? He goes, that movie sucked, didn't it? <laughs>